Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How the hell did you go dark with so many in tow? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Vayner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? You gotta be kidding. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... No second guessing. Let's just get these people the hell out of here. And not one more lost. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. Dr. Cole? Harley, what did you find out? Can't tell. I only know I can't fix it from here. What do you need me to do? Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Access is on the roof. I'm on it. Radio me when you've engaged the controls. Be careful. Cerberus just landed up there a few minutes ago. Good luck, and thank you. Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. Don't you think you put these people in serious danger? They wouldn't have it any other way. Science must never bow to tyranny. We didn't escape just to go into hiding. We wanted to build a new life, where we could live and work on our terms. Love, family, they're all part of that. Even now. Otherwise, what are we fighting for? What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. People had no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. Elusive man really wants these guys.
Heads up. Okay, next up. It's on. back online. Gotcha. I'm on it. ships out of the sky. Where are we at? Progressing quickly, deloaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? 
What's our status? Are we ready? Essentially. Of course, any extra time is welcome. Also, we want to make sure we don't leave anything the elusive man could retrieve. But we're ready to go whenever you say. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. One of the guns. Cerberus troops are. Get those people out.
I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. And now there's something you can do for me. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Good luck. And please, take care. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. And if you could find some place to house the families, I'd appreciate it. Snagging Dr. Cole from the Elusive Man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. looking for you. I believe he's in the crew quarters. Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seemed like... like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many. The choice to leave someone behind. Till you're in that moment. I... <sighs> so, yeah, you know, I don't know. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the Collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him. From him. Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Does it matter what he was, Caden? What good he may have done in the past? He's become power hungry. He's deluded and wrong. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. <laughs> I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He 
keeps losing his shirt to James. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. No issues to report. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Good to see you again, Shepard. Greetings, Commander. Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You're turning into a regular Marine. Yes, well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring some... right now. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed. But I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard... I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? If the Normandy were captured, my fate would be similar to the indoctrinated. My code would be rewritten. I would become loyal to the Reapers. I would rather become non-functional than help them. Sounds like you just made your first choice to be free. 
It will not be my last. The Reapers must be defeated, not because they threaten death, but because the threat of death makes us die inside. It is the right of Sapiens to live freely and securely. That is worth non-functionality. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. Yes, Shepard? How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's... The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. <laughs>